Well, I'm back to my Victoria 2 Bukhara playthrough, as it's 1893, and here's something weird I just discovered too off screen, because remember in the last episode I said I might be attacking Germany to take Lithuania from them. I know something really weird. Look at this. The Commonwealth has a massive military power advantage over Germany, yet Germany has a bigger navy and army than the Commonwealth. 330 brigades, 18 ships, the Commonwealth's 207 to no ships. How? How does the Commonwealth have a bigger military power than Germany, even though Germany has better stats on everything? That makes no sense. Absolutely makes no sense. That That's just too weird. That makes no sense. Let's build this army up. Gain a new core somewhere. And of course, God, if... I have no trouble beating the Commonwealth, even though they have a massive military advantage, and I should have no trouble crushing Germany. As, there we go, take care of you. Alright, so the Northwest Territories is now a state. Let's see, oh, that's what I was trying to make Indi <coughs> Indiana into a state. Do I have any, nope, no, no Uzbeks into Crimea yet. And none right there. Still trying to get people to in immigrate to Indiana. Here we go. Got some Uzbeks out here. So let's try this area. Out of the Northwest Territory. Alright, so let's go back over here. Before I can attack Germany, though, I need to um, massively decrease my relationship with them. Since they're not going to ally me, sadly. So I would love to ally me, but if they're not going to ally me... They're going to be a threat to me. So I better take them down now while I have the advantage. That way I can also get their military score too. Because remember, their industry score is greater than my entire score combined. Which is just insane how high that is. Right? Sorry, Jeremy, but you forced me. And of course, Paul Marine used to be... A an ally of mine before Germany killed them. And I'm surprised Germany hasn't finished them off yet either. Ooh! Spain? Um, had a revolution. So that most likely means they might not be allied with Germany anymore. That makes it even easier. Yep. They have no allies. All they have is their puppet in Africa. That was still BS how they got that colony in Africa. Absolute BS. They didn't even do any colonizing. They just got an event or whatever. They just got it. Which happens strangely very frequently in my um, EU4 Vicky 2 convert converts. Germany somehow always keeps getting African stuff even though they should not be able to. Okay, I have no idea where you came from. And I would love to be able to press my troops if the thing would stop disappearing. I mean, getting cut off. Just go kill them up there. Huron relationship. Alright, lower the tariff. Maybe soon I should probably go to, um... Let's see, what's my party? The only problem with lib the liberals is they're pacifists, which I don't like. Now, the radical faction, the um, anarcho-liberals, that's better, but I can't put them in. The anarcho liberals would be the ideal one. But no, won't let me do it. What are we still at? Oh, semi constitutional monarchy. Alright, as we to take care of that. Oh, great, now they allied Ming. That could be a problem since they're right on my border. Thank God I got the UK as my ally. I don't even have enough forces on the border yet. Which I eventually need to fix. Maybe I should send a force out there beforehand. Because there's still a bunch of problems I still need to completely cover up. Alright, go over here. So many to cover up still. I... And I love how this game keeps doing it, where it keeps pressing on troops, even though there's literally no troops in that area. Alright, lower the tariff again to 50%. Or 59, whatever the fuck. 
I work on you. Upgrade you. Alright, finally... Well, apparently there were rebels pop up somewhere else now. Head back over here. Alright. Yeah, it's the only reason we... Germany's the only... No, is the number one power in the world because they somehow are, have this giant industry that beats my entire score. Which is just crazy. Almost got 50 million people, too! Where are they getting all these pops from? Good God! Damn, 3 million in Austria alone! And then, of course, well, the African stuff's not really helping them too much. That means they're all, almost all their entire population's in Germany, which is insane. What's this? Is that Rebels? It, ah, German communists break out! Well, that might help me in the future if they're having rebellion problems already. Alright, time to lower the relationship again. Alright, so... Send you out here. Lower the tariff again to 50%. And now here on... We got an election going on. Let's finally increase you to friendly. Upgrade you. Upgrade you. As we're about to unlock assembly line. I think I should be able to attack him now. Yep. Maybe I'll wait till next year. Because now my infamy is definitely low enough where I could attack. And I'm going to go for the last army tech I can do until the 1890s. Alright, so I think I'm going to wait till next year before I attack them. I think I can make a new stack. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. I guess I'll put you up here since I have no idea where in um, Germany I'm going to be able to put you else at. On the border. Build you up. One, two, three, four. Then five. There we go. Alright, the bureaucrats are slowly being worked on. Still need more troops on the border. Still hasn't even covered the entire area. I think I'm going to have to start removing troops from, from the Commonwealth border and bring them over to China. Because I'm going to need to cover every single hole of mine for when we attack China. Meaning when China joins on the war, most likely. Alright, so head up here. Alright, so that'll wrap up this episode. I guess it'll be time to begin to go to war against Germany and China in the next episode. So see you guys next time.